Hey guys, welcome to the Semantabolic Muscle Maximizer tutorial. It is Kyle here and I'm going to take you through everything you need to know to get you up and running and start packing on that muscle without any fat. I want to show you everything that you need to know about the program and uh, breeze through it as quickly as we can. First things first is please go up to options, make sure that you go ahead and enable this content. Okay, that's just enabling your macro so you can get in there, fool around with the program, do everything we need to do. All right. I would also go to full screen view. I just like it. It looks better to me. Uh, what I've done here is just put in my information at the top. This is all the basic stuff that the system needs. So as you can tell, I put in your name, Kyle, your sex, male, most of us are male. Uh, height in inches, 74 inches, perfect, 215 pounds, and age 30. The next section is very important. Please be specific when you tell the Semantabolic Muscle Maximizer how many hours per week you're going to be weight training. For myself, that's five hours per week. And there we go, five hours. This is very important as well. We need to actually tell the Semantabolic Muscle Maximizer after which meal will we be working out in. If it's an off day, select off day. Very simple. But for myself, I feel best after meal two. That's when I try and lift. So I will keep that at after meal two. Underneath that, you will see the calorie needs for muscle maintenance. This is just the number of calories that we need to maintain our lean muscle mass that we have. But of course, our goal is going to be muscle gain, which is underneath that. You must select your appropriate body type. For myself, as of right now, I'm a mesoectomorph. I've been able to transform my body over the last number of years through hard work, discipline, exercise, all that stuff, from being a true ectomorph to a mesoectomorph. That's where I'm at right now. So we are going to take a peek here at our calorie target to achieve this goal of packing on lean muscle without any fat. For myself, it's 4,300 calories. That's great. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle is basically... How those calories are made up, meaning the macronutrient breakdown, and when those calories are consumed. So let's take a peek up here at the right-hand side, and we're going to see the exact macronutrient breakdown for myself. I am going to be required to have 43% carbs, 35% protein, and 22% fat. The most important thing, though, is the number of grams. I mean, take a peek over to the right, and you'll see that uh, that translates to, you know, 463 grams of carbs, 377 grams of protein, and 105 Gs of fat. From there, honestly, what I would do is just let the, let the program work for you. There's no thinking involved. If you want to follow one of our customized meal plans that's going to meet those nutritional requirements, you have three options. I, I have it set up so that you have three custom meal plans for you for that specific day based around your weight training regimen. You, there's no more thinking involved. Uh, go ahead, click meal plan one, it'll load up everything that you should be eating that day and when based around your, your body type, your information, and your workout regimen. Uh, this is done for you stuff. If you don't like meal plan one, click meal plan two. That'll load up a completely separate meal plan that has everything you need to follow there. You can go ahead and select meal plan three if you don't like meal plan two. Uh, basically, there's three meal plans all set, done for you. You don't have to worry about anything. If you're very picky, some guys are. That's no problem. What we've set this system up through a lot of hard work and dedication to be able to do is we've incorporated a database of all kinds of foods, up to almost 1,400 foods that have all of the ability in the world to meet your nutritional requirements. So remember, the most important thing about these meals is that the nutritional requirements are met. It's not the particular food. So for instance, if you wanted to build your own meal for meal one, breakfast, you can do that. It's no problem. Just go ahead and start with the food groups, select the appropriate food group, and start constructing your meal. It's very, very easy. You can go, start selecting your meal, just select the, the, the actual food itself and the weight. As long as it meets the nutritional requirements of that meal, you're, you're set. For instance, my nutritional requirement for meal one here is going to be 903 calories, 62 grams of protein, 20 grams of fat, and 117 grams of carbs. Now, it doesn't matter how I get to that point. The point is I have to get there, though. So you can do it yourself or you can have me do it for you. Either way, you're as long as you hit that nutritional requirement, you're going to be happy. You're going to see continual progress, and you're going to be gaining lean muscle without any fat as long as you're working hard in the gym. So... 
Let's go ahead and take a quick peek here at our water intake. The recommended water intake for, for myself in this example is 143 ounces. That's, a, that's the amount of water I need to consume this particular day uh, you know, to optimize fat mobilization and to just, just to optimize my overall performance. The, the actual water intake is what you track. Go ahead and put in the water intake as you, as you um, are consuming it throughout the day. Just try and get as close to possible to the recommended water intake. A post-workout recovery shake, you notice this is very, very precise along with everything in this program, but everything is split down to the gram in um, your post-workout shake as well. So you're going to notice that there's only a protein and carb requirement. That's because you're not going to be consuming any fat in this post-workout shake. It's just straight carbs and protein in this specific quantity of 54 grams of carbs, 86 grams of, I'm sorry, 54 grams of protein, 86 grams of carbs, which will make up that 560 calories that I need to consume in that anabolic window following my workout. That anabolic window lasts for about one hour, and you must take advantage of it after that workout. So get that shake as close to these requirements as humanly possible, and you're going to achieve maximal results. So let's pretend that I, I've gone ahead and... Um, I don't know, let's, let's load meal plan one for the day. Say I ate all of that stuff and I'm happy the day's over. Well, this is a very, very important step. What we're going to want to do here is click export stats button. Okay, guys, let's take a look at your results graph here, also known as your transformation tracker. This is basically going to show you your progressive and continuous uh, weight gain and success with this program. Now, the red line here is going to indicate your weight. You're going to want to see this progressively, continuously be going up over the course of, you know, days and weeks following the program. The, um, the other lines that you see here in the graphs are A, um, the gray line is your target calories. This shows you what your particular target calories are for that day. So let's start from left to right here. 8-4, that's August 4th. This particular non-existent human that we've inputted here into the system had a target calorie intake of close to 4,000, but in green is his actual calories. He took in, you know, just under 3,000. That's really not going to get the job done. And you're not going to see optimal results if you miss by that much. The idea is to keep the green and the gray lines as close to even as possible throughout the course of, um, you know, the days and weeks to come. That, if you do that, you're going to be happy because you're going to see that red line progressively and continuously go up and you're going to see your weight, your weight go up and not quite as much as... Uh, this individual here who apparently went from 180 pounds to uh, what is that 215 pounds literally overnight if that happens to you um, definitely record the results uh, because that would be put into the uh, Guinness Book of World Records and that's physically actually actually that's impossible if that happens to you check your weight scale and um, on top of that check yourself into a hospital <laughs> but I uh, don't think that I can promise you those kind of results. I can promise you though that that red line is going to continuously prog and progressively go up for you and that you're going to be happy. Just don't expect uh, you know, a good 35 pounds of muscle overnight. That would be asking a little much of me. I can do a lot but I can't do that for you. I hope you understand. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out of here and we're going to take a peek at uh, what to do next. Okay, let's pretend we've had all our meals. We're, we're good for the day. I would just clear stats and let's move on to the next day. You're good to go. I think that um, I think that that laid everything out for you that you need to know to get started. I don't want to keep you any longer. I I want you to know that you can get a hold of me anytime. I want you to um, email me any questions you might have. I don't want you to hesitate to email me any questions. You can you can call our customer service line. It's no problem. I uh, I just don't want to keep you any longer. I want you to get out there, hit the gym, start eating according to the Semantabolic Muscle Maximizer and experience the success that I know you're about to experience and please don't hesitate to send me your results. I love seeing the results of, uh, of the guys that follow this program. It just, it just makes me feel that all this is worthwhile and I, um, I can't wait to, to see your results as well. So uh, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.